Hello, this is Sparky Mama, and this is a quick guide to village layout and design in Medieval Dynasty. Do not underestimate the amount of space you need. Always find a large plain that's clear of trees, or a large flat land where you can clear the trees yourself. Find a location near water, and not too far from a neighbouring village as well as make sure that it has plenty of resources in abundance at your disposal so that you don't have to walk too far away like this location here has deer and rabbits in abundance on all three sides as well as fish in the river make sure your location is by a river, lake or creek this will provide natural beauty as well as any pre-existing buildings like a bridge will provide a nice aesthetic to your village or a nice welcome as you walk along the bridge. Make sure most of the land is flat for ease of building. If you're up on a hill or near a ridge you will have difficulty placing a building I'd recommend finding a large plain, either free of trees, or at least just a large plain, and you can chop down the trees yourself. Find a location that has pre-built paths. The villagers will not use your paths, but they will walk along the pre-existing paths that the devs have created for the game. Double path all your main roads. This gives you more space, looks aesthetically pleasing and gives the impression that you'll have carts coming along this road as well. When you're double pathing, make sure your main pathway is done first and your secondary line will stop on either side of the main path. If you use the compass at the top of your screen, it's very easy to make rectangles and square layouts for your housing or any other districts. On either point of the compass, north, south, east or west, start your path and keep walking straight. And that will provide a nice straight road. Once you have that path in, find the 90 degree angle off there which will be west for me I'll start my path here and I'll follow that through this is a quick and easy guide to get 90 degrees and squares in your game for your pathing instead of freeforming your house you can place the paths first and then place your house afterwards and it will be square. I wouldn't recommend placing your houses too close to the path. This will make your village feel very crowded and cramped. Instead, I would recommend providing enough space to walk a couple of steps before you get to the door. This allows you to craft a couple of decorations and place them outside. Figure out where you're going to have the centre of your town and place the well in the middle. This will ensure that when you do start building, you branch outwards north, south, east and west. For me, on my game, on the northern side, I'm going to have all my production buildings on this side here. And then to the east, I will have all my farming and some rural houses. Out to the west, we're going to have the remainder of our production buildings, as well as a fancier residential housing to provide workers for this production area. 
within the production area you can separate them within their districts for example you can have raw resources on the outskirts like the hunting lodge the woodshed and the excavation shed building next to an abandoned building will provide a aesthetic look to your village however you have to be cautious as you will not be able to build next to it as well as you cannot chop the trees down next to it either like so 